What's up, everybody? I'm Chuck. It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, connecting you. Hey, if you've already seen the intro, all you got to do is just fast forward to the Las Vegas housing market. So today we are going to be exploring a community called Stone Creek. It is a gated community within a massive plan community called Tolly Springs, located in the North Las Vegas area. This community is surrounded by shopping, recreational, and educational opportunities nearby. Stone Creek also has its own amenities such as swimming pools, picnic areas, and barbecue areas. Within the three different product lines, Stone Creek offers a variety that modern home shoppers need. A floor plan that ranges from 1,887 square feet to 3,771 square feet and even includes a next gen. Each home at Stone Creek is a part of the Lennar Everything Included program which include modern amenities such as granite countertops, granite kitchen appliances, maple cabinets, a future proof home automated package and much much more. So to get to Tolly Springs you're going to be heading east on the 215 Bruce Beltway. The exit that you're going to be taking is Aliante Parkway. So you're going to be heading south on Aliante Parkway. Now as you can see as we exit to the left you will have the casino Aliante Casino. As we head south on Aliante Parkway you'll see that we'll have shopping on the right hand side. Grocery stores such as Smith's, Wells Fargo, Walgreens. What's up everybody this is Chuck It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas your Las Vegas realtor. So we are here in the North Las Vegas Valley, the city of Las Vegas, and we are going to be touring this beautiful property by Lennar. The name of this neighborhood is called Stone Creek. We are in a mass planned community called Tolly Springs. Tolly Springs broken ground about, I would say, 16 months ago. They're building about 10,000 homes at this time. Well, I love the uh, five panel garage here normally you'll do a four panel also some production builders will allow you to do a seven or eight feet if you have that option i do like the eight feet so that way you can get your truck into your garage so here is the uh, side of the home here's your smart box tv right we also have your gas meter pv pvb valve Okay, what that, what that does right there is a system for your irrigation system. It's a, a valve that spits water back out so that way you're not sending toxic water back into your home. And it's actually required by code and also your, all your spigots should have that too as well. Take you guys on the side of the home here. Concrete stucco, definitely like the front brick. You have some gorgeous pop out. So you looks like we have a two inch pop out here. I can tell you right now, if we did a home inspection, so one of the home inspectors, what they will mention that, as you can see, we have some cracks here in between. This should be filled up for the water. Now that's not a bad thing. Those are easy fix. However, those are one of the things that you have to consider when you buy a home uh, maintenance on the home because of the elements here in Las Vegas. Also, these green boxes, if you notice, they're all over. These green boxes really power the home. It's a transformer. And there, are, uh, you get these probably like every five homes in between. So, Lennar has a total of five models to view. However, they have a total of seven floor plans. So this Denali is uh, 2,129 square feet. It is a single story home and it does come with a ring. Okay, definitely love the uh, French doors here. Brown is not my color, but it is what it is, okay. So as we enter into the property, as you can see how wide 
this hallway is, which is really nice. Let's just take you guys all the way back out here to the main living. Okay. Master's on the right. So it's a little bit dark. So what we're going to do is take you guys back this way. And we'll start off with this room here. So we have an 8-foot door, 9-foot ceilings. So this is going to be a gated neighborhood. HOAs are $35 a month. And also because we are in a mass plan community, it's going to be $20 a month. You got your Smackdown texture or skip draw, however you want to call it. So I've noticed here we have the outlet for your plug. That is for your lamp lights. So technically, the way that this bed is set up right here, it's not designed for how the lamp light is set up and also your cable outlets. So technically your bed should be on this side because your TV is going to be here, but then your lamp lights are going to be here. Okay. Cause that's where the plug is. The reason why the designer probably did it this way to give you the appearance to have this room look bigger. Can you see what I'm saying? By running it this way, it gives you that appearance. And that's another thing that you have to catch is that some of these interior designers, they are really good. Because imagine this, you buy this home and you realize I got to put my bed here because my TV goes here, right? Now it takes up all this room. But I think these are the fine details that a lot of consumers don't really look at. But these are the things that I really enjoy looking at. And you learn as a pro as you go through the process of, you know, building homes for your clients. Oh, so this room actually has a thermostat here. Now, you see that tag right there, Sierra? Again, that tells you who's the third party company that had installed the AC units, did all the rough ins, and who to call. So we have a nice, beautiful cabinet. We have two sinks undermounted. We have a half inch granite frameless mirror. And we have a separate door coming into the water closet shared with the tub, shop, tub, shambo, tub shower combo fiberglass all one piece. Nice. Chrome fixtures. Okay. Also, we have three inch baseboards as well. We also have a six inch staggered two by 12, three sixteenth inch grout lines. Remember with the grout lines with certain builders, check to see if you can seal your grout. Nowadays, they do make products where the seal is literally in the grout. Again, so here's another same case. We have your cable outlet here. And over here, we have your lamp light. It's actually back there, okay? So this is where you're gonna have to ask the builder to make sure, because with the Lennar, you basically, you get what you see with this builder. And that's what we talked about. The pros and cons of working with a builder that sells product like this style as far as you get all the items included versus building everything separately on your own because now you should be able to move that. We got bull nose, two-tone paint, we have closet, five shelves. This is your two-car garage. 
Now this is locked. The reason why they lock this all the, oh, this one's not locked. French door. Okay, so let's take a look at this garage. One of the tips that I do wanna share with you is a couple good things about this garage. The garage is an eight foot garage, so you'll be able to fit a truck, okay? Also, one of the things that you have to take a look at is when it comes with a garage door, okay? Do you actually get the garage door that's Wi-Fi? Also, is it a belt drive or a chain drive? A belt drive will be a lot more quiet than a direct drive or a chain drive, okay? Here, looks like a one inch valve, okay? Now this is your regulating valve. I would not touch it unless you know what you're doing. Contact a plumber. This is the main line that flows into your home. And this is your shutoff valve for your sprinkler systems as well. Here is your sprinkler system. Now, what I like about this sprinkler system here is that you will be able to have certain zones at certain times. But however, this home only currently has two zones. So you can have four zones. Now what our zones are, front yard, backyard, you can control them at any time, okay? Looks like right here, look at this. We have a 220 plug. What's great about that is, right, all you Tesla lovers out there, there it is. Now this looks like a 75 gallon tank. Let's see, how many gallons is this tank here? Oh, I can't find it. Can't find it guys, I think it's a 75, 60 or 75? So it looks like we have some closet space. The light should turn on here. Here's your smart hood, 42 inch. There ain't really nothing in here, but this is where you would put all your cable, phone, This right here, you have your washer and dryer. Okay. Coming back, here's your dining area here. Pretty large dining area. Definitely more of a formal dining area, however, a lot of people really enjoy the open floor plan. This one right here comes with two recessed lightings. Here's your security system. Nice to see you ladies again. <laughs> so coming over here to the left, we have a powder or a half bath. So what we'll do is we'll go here to the master. This is a king size bed. I have a king cow and it's just way too big. So it looks like we have cable here, Smurf tube, okay. What a Smurf tube is, it takes the cable all the way up to here to the top. Here is your outlet for your plug. You can hang your TV. Looks like we have some surround sounds here. 
Looks like we have a 9 inch can for your supply and you have your pre-wired for your ceiling fans. This room looks to be a little bit bigger than 20 by 20. Here is your water closet. Love the height of the toilets. So this would be your linen closet, five shelves, six panel door, not insulated, which is fine, okay? Now here's the one piece fiberglass tub, stand up shower. You have the subway tile. Now I want to talk about insulation really quickly. According to code, okay, and also you're going to be signing a form because according to the federal government, uh, the builders are required to give you a form that you sign that tells you what type of insulation you have in your home. I believe it is R13 in the walls and R30 in the attic. Don't quote me on that because I don't remember. So I'm going to have to check up on that because it seems like these guidelines keep changing. But uh, there's a certain type of um, installation that needs going to the walls and also in the attic. Now, from my recollection, uh, Lennar, they do uh, install a radiant barrier. And what a radiant barrier is, it's the plywood that's inside the attic. If you climb up your attic, you'll see this. Um, I would say a little thick foam that it's it, it's actually insulated plywood so what that does is really holds in or reflects off the heat inside the attic because how it works for a home all these exterior walls right this is an interior wall you're not gonna have insulation in it okay on the exterior of the home right acts like a big ice box even on top of the ceiling right inside your attic so just keep that in mind now you do have an option at the design center now not with this builder to do insulation inside the interior walls uh, they say it does not make a difference however I think it makes a slightly difference in addition to that it does um, block off sound from one room to another so I'm sure you'll see a slight difference on the bill Okay, so here's your cabinets. Nice front face cabinets. Uh, looks like we have standard staples uh, drawers with a side glide. I do like the inch and a half granite on here. Beautiful granite. However, the backsplash, you only get a standard six inch backsplash. Here is your stove. Uh, GE appliances. So definitely you have your 42 upper cabinets with a three inch crown, which is really nice. Kind of swing back this way here. Okay. Remember the refrigerator is not including the sale of this transaction coming into the pantry area. Decent sized pantry. Okay. I'm going to walk you guys around here. The living room, give you a different perspective. Uh, you'll see in this video, uh, you're starting to have a lot of people uh, walk around here uh, in the video, so I do apologize. This is a new community. Okay, so now let, let's go out to the back. So we have a, a 12 foot slide here. Okay, and these are vinyl slides now what do we have here not too sure why that is a little all messy here let me see if I can solve this figure out what all this is what is that okay so there's bird poop up there so that means the pigeons are hanging on this two inch pop pop out the thing about pigeons what I notice if you shoo them away they always come back okay so they they're, they're trained that way 
So that tells me you're gonna have to probably put some spikes up there. So it looks like you do get some nice pavers on this cover patio. However, you don't get this backyard. This lot size here, it appears to be about, I would say 10,000 square feet. So this is a decent size backyard, especially if you are going to be putting a pool. So we have contemporary roof tiles, which is really nice, okay? We have an outlet here. So now, I'm not gonna walk all the way down there because we don't need to. Uh, we talked about the drain swell before. If you do a landscaper, I mean, if you hire a landscaper, um, in the contract that you'll sign with the disclosures, that you will properly explain to the landscapers that make sure they do the drain swell because the builder is not going to be reliable okay the reason why is because they don't want the landscapers coming out here pushing the water against the foundation or in this wall because it's going to cause damage but you can see how this drain swell goes straight out to the back also i don't know if you guys can see this underneath here we talked about this before. This is called a stuckle creed. And that allows, with this type of elements here in Las Vegas, with this type of stuckle, water will get in between, right? The stuckle and the mesh, and will drain out the stuckle creed. The reason why I'm explaining this to you is that should you ever decide to put a concrete walkway, do not put it all the way up to the top because now you're blocking that water flow and that condensation. You want to bring it down a little bit more. Here's your gas. What's nice about that is you can plug your stove right into it. And no, I'm sorry, not your stove, but your grill and you can start your cooking. This has one AC unit, Lennox. Let's go back into the air conditioning here because it is hot outside. So let me know what your thoughts are about this in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I'm Chuck. It's Crucible with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. <laughs>